Hello, hello, brothers and sisters. Welcome to another day of daily prayer. And I am so glad that you could join me again today for another day to just to pray and just to lift up the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Lord of all, the very Son of God, who is alive and forevermore, and to bring your knees before him. I'm so glad that you are here with me. And let's go ahead and get started. You can go ahead and open up your Bibles, if you will, over to Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 okay Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26 amen and I hope you've been blessed I hope that God is I know that God is smiling on you and I hope that your week has been blessed oh man and today is going to be a good day because today this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice amen and you know that's a choice that you make amen you don't have to let your circumstances dictate what's gonna happen you can let jesus you can let jesus be the master and the captain and the owner of your soul amen amen the whole and be led by the spirit of god amen amen your father wants the best for you amen he doesn't want you without he doesn't if you are born again amen all right so let's just go ahead and we will over to Ephesians chapter 4 and we're going to first look in verse 26 and then we're going to look at another verse okay but the word says be ye angry and sin not let not the sun go down upon your wrath and it says this neither give place to the devil now this is a twofold message here because it says the bible um the bible does uh say that you will get angry okay but you don't have to sin you don't have to let the anger that you have uh control you right it says be angry and sin not so that's very important you can and i believe i you know i don't have the, the revelation on this but i believe that's more of a righteous anger but be angry and sin not it's you know sometimes you can just you know have anger but but the bible does say don't sin and then it says don't let the sun go down upon your wrath so you know a lot of times anger uh could lead to wrath but the word says don't let the sun don't let the day go end with you being in wrath it's important that you make that right one is by coming to God and confessing this uh, as a sin okay now first of all before I go there I want you to take a look I want you to take a look um, at verse 31 real quick it says let all bitterness wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice so that means he doesn't want it in your life okay he doesn't he put it away put it away it may come but you don't have to keep it okay so get rid of it and one of the ways you do that one is you go to God and confess your sin first John says that if we confess our sins then God is faithful and just to forgive us so if each and every day you must confess your sin all right if now if you expect to be blessed you must confess your sin and if you expect for God to hear your prayer then you have to you have to deal with that sin God it, the word of God says in Psalms that if I regard iniquity in my heart then the Lord won't hear me so you have to let that anger go don't let the sun go down on your wrath don't let the day end without you dealing with that and taking it to God Re confess your sin and repent and forsake it amen and you may have to if it's been someone then you may have to uh you know feel, forgive that you're gonna have to forgive your brother you're gonna have to forgive your sister or the situation or whoever it is that resulted in the anger listen the Bible and the Bible also says neither give place to the devil that will be a foothold in your life 
uh, my friend, if you don't take that to God in prayer. Okay, amen. And speaking of prayer, now we're going to go move right into prayer. And if you're with us and you don't know the Lord as your Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then I want you to stick with me because at the end, we are going to lead. We're going to go through a prayer together and you're going to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Don't sit on the sidelines, okay, waiting for the devil to take you to hell. But go ahead and give your life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus and he has guaranteed you eternal life. You must stick with him. You want to work out your soul salvation, but we're going to lead you. We're going to lead you to Jesus at the end of this prayer. So let's go ahead and move into prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, saints. Hey, Holy Spirit, we invite you here even now. You said where there are two or more gathered together in your name. Lord, you are in the midst of us. So we welcome you here, Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, saints, come on, come on and press into the Lord. I feel the Holy Spirit in here. I feel the Holy Spirit with us now. Holy Spirit, go out through the airwaves. Go out through the internet, the network, Father, and touch each and every person under the sound of my voice, Father, today in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask that you would come upon them in a mighty way, Lord God. I ask that you would permeate the atmosphere of their surroundings even now, Lord. Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we bring the needs before you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for who you are, Lord. Oh God, you said that we can ask, seek, and knock. And Lord God, I thank you that we ask and bring the needs before you. And we ask you for provision today. Lord, we ask you for miracles today. We're asking you, Lord, for financial miracles. We're asking you for healing miracles today. Come on saints come on Ooh. yes lord i thank you lord i ask that you would renew and rejuvenate those that are under the sound of my voice i ask you for a fresh and filling of the spirit of god for those that have been depleted and that want to give up lord they are ready to somebody's ready to throw in the towel but father god i ask that you would baptize them with the holy ghost and with fire hallelujah don't give up saints come on come on lean into jesus lean into jesus Put your trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Trust in the Lord. Surrender right now. God is giving someone strength today. Don't throw in the towel. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Romo Kuramata Yaramuramo Sotarama Haramba Karebehe. Repe Terebeke Yaramuramo Sotaramo Sotaho. Father, I ask you, Lord, that you would, Lord, bring someone out of captivity today. Someone that's been captured today. Bring them out of captivity from the devil's clutches in the name of Jesus we speak I speak deliverance right now today in the mighty name of Jesus I decree the precious blood over you today right now in the name of Jesus I decree freedom right now today freedom right now today in the name of Jesus 
in the name of Jesus Lord forgive us today if we've engaged with the spirit of anger that devil of anger Lord we forgive even now in the name of Jesus anyone that's wronged us we forgive them right now in Jesus name and we bless them today in the name of Jesus because your word says that if we do not forgive Lord neither will you forgive us so Lord right now we make the choice Come on, come on. I want you to say it. I make the choice to forgive. And you fill in the blanks. Tell God that you choose to forgive that person. Even if you don't feel like it. Forgive. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, saints. What a powerful time in the Lord. And if you are with me today and you don't know Jesus as Lord, then today is your day for a miracle. I want you to repeat this prayer after me and I'm going to introduce you to our King, our Lord and Savior. Say, Dear God, I come to you as a sinner and I want to be saved say I ask you to forgive me for all my sins that I've committed against you I confess that I am guilty and I want to receive Jesus right now as my Lord and Savior I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've just been saved. Now now raise your hands and I'm going to pray for you, Father. Father, Lord Jesus, you are the baptizer in the Holy Ghost with fire. I ask that you fill each and every person with the Spirit of God, with the Holy Ghost. And I ask that you would baptize them now, Lord, with the Holy Ghost and with fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm so glad for you, saints. Now, now, for those that have just been born again, I want you to know that your next step now is to find a church home find a church home you know that person at work that's been inviting you to church well why don't you go ahead and take them up on that offer and you go and go to church and let the pastor know that you just received Jesus as your Lord and Savior and that you want to be baptized and they will baptize you in the name of Jesus the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah amen all right my friends and brothers and sisters I want you to join me again to tomorrow uh, I want you to join me again next time on another day of daily prayer and I'm looking forward to being with you and praying with you you have a blessed and wonderful day in Jesus amen bye bye